Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Around two months ago, I made a video about the best pine tree natural macro settings. And ever since the sticker update rolled out, the second pattern I showed in that video, which was Supercat, isn't really that good anymore. So I found a new pattern that is really good and it's almost better than the ELO pattern. If not, better. So just before we get into it, make sure to sub and like as it helps out a lot. So I'm going to quickly show the ELO pattern again. To be completely honest, you can change this around quite a bit. It won't really change how much honey you're making. The only real reason why ELO is good is because you can actually put gather with shift lock. And just imagine I'm in pine tree right now and it would be popping all my bubbles. But without the tide popper, it's honestly not really that good. But the thing is with ELO, I find myself drifting out of the field. Even though I have the Supreme Saturator, it's mainly because when you have a server full of people and everyone everyone's got a supreme saturator it always messes up and sometimes you just run out the field so this pattern works the best for me and it honestly makes me more than elo so feel free to try it out and test how this new setting will work for you okay so here it is and it's actually fork and it's also going to rotate the camera left once which if you try this setting out yourself it'll look pretty similar to supercat but the thing is when you use supercat it tends to run into the wall and it just stays in the corner too much and it sometimes gets to the point where it stays here for a long time causing the macro to reset or just causing you to not make any more honey now with fork it still happens sometimes but it doesn't stand there for a long time so it doesn't really matter so yeah this is basically the best settings you want to set it to pine tree obviously and then you want your pattern to be fork you want to have gather with shift lock off don't touch anything to do with the invert as i said before make sure you rotate cameras left one so you're facing in the corner exactly like this and change your length and your width to two now as i said earlier with the elo you can also do the same thing here and change the length of the width around a little bit just find whatever suits you best or just do whatever you want really and if you are end game blue hive or even like level 15 or anything like that i wouldn't suggest putting your minutes i would say over 12 as you don't want to be waiting so long until you convert but your goal is also for your bag to fill before the timer so generally your bag should fill before this timer actually comes up, which for me is roughly eight minutes or so. I have my pack percentage at 95. I only have this because sometimes 100% is buggy, but it's completely up to you. Just have it above 95. And here we have two hive buy. You can either set it to walk or reset. I personally have it to reset just because I don't feel walking benefits me, but it is said by a lot of pros that walking to hive is much better because when you actually reset, you don't convert straight away because your bees have to rest and then start converting. To be completely honest, I think it's the same time. So walking might be better because then you convert what's in your backpack, but it's completely up to you. And then your sprinkle location can be upper left and eight. Once again, play around this as much as you want but that's pretty much it for this video so yeah fork is personally the best settings i use and it's the settings a lot of people use that i know and it's what helps me get on the daily leaderboard pretty much every day i was just going to show you guys that i'm on daily leaderboard but it reset nine minutes ago anyway i hope these settings help you make a lot more honey as i said before make sure to like and subscribe as it helps out a lot and i'll see you guys in the next video